let me explain the items to be debited in the trading account as well as uh, in p and account. Imagine that in a furniture mart, in a furniture mart, okay, they have so much of uh, operations, furniture mart, okay. They purchase the raw materials or materials, whatever it may be. Okay. Semi uh, finished uh, items or completely raw material or whatever it may be wood, steel. They use this for converting into the furniture. Sometimes uh, finished uh, form of furniture itself. Finished form of furniture itself. But it cannot be saleable as it is. It should uh, undergo some other processes also. In the furniture mark, wood will not be available for sale, right? That wood will be converted into table or bureau or self order. It may be only then it can be saleable. That will be done in the workshop. That will be done in the workshop. So they purchase the furniture. We assume that this is the material purchases are simply purchases. Those material will not come to the workshop or the first level in the godown. Automatically, it should be transferable with the help of uh, any cart, okay, bulla cart or whatever it may be, or some vehicles. Any amount payable for that will be com coming under carriage inward, carriage inward. And any cost you incur related to this operation, like wages, small, small expenses you incur related to getting the goods to your own place, like wages, as well as uh, sometimes inside, we have a cottage, cottage, okay, cottage is nothing but any fee payable for the cart, bullock cart or whatever it may be tricycle, whatever it may be, for that any fee you pay no, will come under cartridge, without which the asset that the purchase item will not come to your place. Apart from that, we need to have the showroom, we need to have the showroom, isn't it? From the showroom only, everything is displayed and sold. Meanwhile, to administrate the entire thing, we need to have the office also, office. This will be named as workshop, another one is named as, as office, the last one is named as showroom. And to run the showroom also we have some expenses like uh, rent for the showroom, electricity bill for that and salesman salary, salesman salary, isn't it? And the packing material and building material like stationery etc. Okay. Apart from that, the goods will be delivered at the customer side. That will be named as uh, carriage out, carriage out. Is that okay? So all these things are going to be spent, relate, uh, spent for the showroom. For the office, again, we need to spend for stationery. Okay, office clerk uh, salary. Okay, salary to them. Rent is there. The electricity bill is also there, n number of other things also possible. You can very easily guess whether the expenses is related to the workshop or office or uh, showroom. In case of workshop, not only that, we have lots of rent like rent for the workshop or factory buildings, uh, expenses, repairs and all these things will come under this. If I categorize that in this angle, the final it is going to be sold, say. This first block you know this block will come under trading court. Here this will be trading court. From here to here, that, those items will come in the p and Is that okay? You no need to mug up what are the items will come in trading and p and account. You have to understand the logic. So those expenses related to the up, up to this part will be called as uh, trading expenses. And those expenses related to these two parts will be called the uh, Profit and loss expenses. The expenses debited to the profit and loss account. Is that okay? And by default, the sale will be a part of what? 
trading cones revenue item it should be only in trading cone so mind that it's very simple i have seen some books where there is a, a list of items debit in the pendulum well cone as was well debit in the trading cone right so if i study then i usually get confused what are the items will come there or here lots of confusions is there but if you understand this logic up to the time that the goods is ready for sale you cannot purchase the goods in the half baked or half process or work in progress state if it is 100% completed then that guarantee you will purchase right so unless it is 100% completed you will not purchase means for the completion of 100% what are the expenses you incur now will come under trading court after that that will be sold through the showroom or some other processes like advertisement all these things are pain like account right expenses and to administrate the entire division like the showroom or whatever it may be billing and all will be administrated by another team administration office or administration team they to do some expenses not related to the trading account so in such a way you just think or whenever the expenses comes immediately your mind should get striked with what okay is it an item for the workshop or item for the office or a showroom then you can easily guess it if it is an item for the showroom and office can be debited directly to the payroll account if the expenses is related to the operations until it gets uh, finished no that will be debited to the trading account hope so you could understand the logic because i have seen sometimes i to get confused okay there is a term called wages and salary and salary and wages and uh, alone salary and wages and wages and salary okay wages will it come in the trading account or pnl account wherever it may be it will come it will come in the trading account as well as in pnl account also right <coughs> on delivery on delivery of goods somebody comes to our office and he orders a pack of our material we said okay he immediately says sir can you deliver to my home will it be possible to deliver without a labor i need to have a labor i need to pay the cottage i call for a labor sir do all the packing and uh, bundling this and porter service also it's a heavy bulky so i'll get the service of porter are you paying the salary to the porter or wages to the porter 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 is the person who is carrying huh wages only no a small amount is called wages it's not coming under salary wages payable to the porter or any rickshaw wala or it may be that will be debited to the pnl account so that confusion should not be there so i won't usually say that this wages will come in the trading con this wages will come in the pnl no you will now understand yourself wages related to the production up to the point will be debited to the trading con any expenses incurred later yeah of course we have the rent for factory we have the rent for admin office we have the rent for showroom okay where to debit the rent by default rent should be debited to pnl con but if it is related to the factory should be debited to the fact uh, trading account only anyhow we are confining our study with what trader we are confining our study with trader final accounts for trader final accounts for trader means definitely what we don't have raw material form will not be there the difference between the trader and manufacturer is what the trader simply buys adds profit and sells manufacturer he buys the material and converts that into the finished goods and sells i purchase a table from a uh, wholesaler and sell it then i am a trader i purchase the raw material i convert that into the table and i am selling then who am i i am a manufacturer we are confining our first level of study where i am being the trader buying and selling only so definitely factory related expenses will not come here in the case of trading concern trading concern buying and selling in the case of manufacturing concern buying doing some manufacturing operation convert into finished goods and sell after this lecture we'll go for that one also now we'll confine with the trader only so you can now easily guess what are the things will come and what are the things will not come uh, once i had a doubt also hmm? heating and lighting where will it come in trading account or pnl account heating and lighting huh heating and lighting where will it come the heating and lighting why it is coming in trading con as per your statement heating and lighting ha huh? heating and lighting should come in the pnl account 
right why do you think that uh, heating and lighting will come in the pn trading count you may be misguided understand that we have copied indian version book most of the times from the foreign version of book in uk especially even in uh, russia the temperature level is so chill minus 5 minus 10 also okay they in their office they will have what heater not ac okay we don't have the heater here by default we are in living in heater huh? so summer hot summer hottest summer only we have the okay i means uh, weather like okay then we have the ac air conditioned expenses come tell, tell me now where will it come in trading on uh, trading corner pedal account you are very clear because it's our own language heating and lighting we understand already heating is there but we don't understand the chill right if the climate is chill then we need to have what heater we need to have heater so the heating and lighting expenses is meant for what heating and lighting of the office for the con uh, con convenient working environment isn't it so the heating and lighting should come in the pn account i i uh, suppose i sometimes think over why do i want to use the term heating and lighting in india so we need to use what air conditioning expenses there is no air conditioning expenses at all i have seen most of the books there is no air conditioning expenses okay cooling expenses is not there but predominantly we are in need of the cooling expenses only right any anyway, by this way if you understand you can easily understand whether it comes in the trading or pain look on comfortably right come on make a note of it